We've been talking about derivatives of different kinds of functions. Well, one class of functions that's really important is exponential functions. Now, recall that an exponential function is one of the form f of x equals a to the x, where a is a positive constant, but not 1. Let's find its derivative, f prime of x. Now, you'll recall that usually the first thing we do is we work on the difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Now, for this function, f of x plus h, is a to the x plus h. And f of x is a to the x. So we just have to simplify this just a little bit. Now, a to the x plus h is the same as a to the x times a to the h by a property of exponents. Minus a to the x. And now you can see that a to the x is a common factor in both terms of the numerator, and it can be factored out. So I can write this as and I'll pull it out to the right. And what's left? On this, in this term, a to the h minus, and then 1, all over h. So this is my simplified difference quotient. Let me pop that up into the, into the limit, because recall that the derivative of f is the limit as h approaches 0 of the difference quotient. So this will be the limit as h approaches 0 of a to the h minus 1 over h times a to the x. Now, one of the things that we showed in a previous episode was that the limit of this quantity was actually the natural log of a. Now, this is actually going to be constant with respect to h. As h goes to 0, nothing happens to a to the x. But this thing approaches ln of a. And so that's our derivative f prime of x equals ln a. And so we summarize this by saying that the derivative of an exponential function, the derivative with respect to x of a to the x, equals natural log of a times a to the x. So it's kind of interesting. Every exponential function's derivative is just a constant times that function.